All right, and thanks for your patience with the last two videos of this section. This one is a little shorter. We're going to talk about cofunctions and complementary angles, all right? So let's look at an example. I want you to find the sine of 30 degrees and the cosine of 60 degrees. Excuse me. To make this a little easier for you, you uh, I drew you a triangle. Also, I haven't shown this. I'm wearing a very fitting shirt for today. Um, let's look at the sine of 30 degrees. Well, the sine of 30 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. It's one half. The cosine of 60 degrees, again, now we're over here. What's the adjacent side? For 60 degrees, the adjacent side's over here. Remember, for 30 degrees, adjacent's here. But for 60 degrees, this is the adjacent side. So hypotenuse is the same. Wait a minute. The cosine of 60 degrees is also one half, right? It's, just, it's the same numbers. Because the adjacent for 60, it's the adjacent for that one, it's the opposite of that one. That's always going to be the case, no? Oh, it is. All right. So that's a little thing that we've got going on here. Oop. I, oh, no, I just messed something up. All right, it's fixed. It's not, it's not messed up. Overreaction. Okay, that's our answer right here. So let's get into some definitions, and then I got a little result, a little special result for all of you. Definitions is two angles are complementary. They say nice things to each other. Just kidding, it's a different complementary. This one has an E. Complement is where I say, you're doing great today, or you're a good math student. All right, or something like that. I don't know what compliments I'm giving. It's a little early on. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. So let's say if theta plus gamma equals 90 degrees, remember 90 degrees is the same as pi over 2. That's what complementary means. Definition. The following pairs are cofunctions. This definition, I really hope this definition does not surprise you. You should watch this definition just like you watched the end of, it's like I watched the end of Star Wars and whatever it was called, not A New Hope, A New Hope Round 2, Force Awakens. Where everyone on the internet's telling me Han Solo dies. Oh, yeah, big surprise. He died. Wow. When everyone's telling you, you know. Also, if anyone hasn't seen that movie, sorry. Secrets out. Sine and cosine. Wait a minute. It's like the same word. What's the difference between these words? Sine, cosine. They're cofunctions because it's almost literally the exact same word. One just has co in front of it. Secant and cosecant. Oh, okay. Yeah, you see where this is going. Tangent and cotangent. If you put the word co, if you put the syllable co before a trig function, that group is a cofunction. So we have complementary angles. Adding up to 90 degrees, we have cofunctions, and they're the same. And that's basically what all this video is talking about. Let's get that result written down. Cofunction identities. <sighs> no, there's no such thing as coco secant. <laughs> Although now I want some chocolate. I'm still making muffins at the end of uh, recording these videos. Cofunction identities, let's say if theta plus gamma 
equals pi over 2, or 90 degrees, if they are complementary. Okay. <laughs> if these are complementary right here, then the cosine of theta is equal to the sine of gamma. And the cosine of gamma, and the sine of theta is equal to the cosine of gamma. And you can do the same thing with all these, all these, all these trig functions. Cosecant and secant. Secant. Cosecant. And you do, yeah, let's do, let's do all of them, right? Now. Let's just write them all down. Cotangent. Tangent. Tangent. Cotangent. All right, so that's all the cofunction identities. You may sometimes see them written without two variables. The book only uses one variable. The book says the cotangent of theta is equal to the tangent of pi over 2 minus theta. But remember, right? If two things add up to pi over 2, this is just down here, just solving for gamma. So these are all the same. If you have cofunctions and complementary angles, then those trig function values are the same. And again, you don't need these memorized. You can box these, just like we boxed the other things. A nice green shiny box. Let's use them. Example 7. If sine of theta is 5 twelfths, find the cosine pi over 2 minus theta. So to use these identities, you only have to do two things. First, look at the angles. Is theta and pi over 2 minus theta, are they complementary? If they're complementary, that's step one. We just need complementary and cofunctions. Well, yes, this is true because plus theta minus theta, pi over 2 is just pi over 2. What's the other thing that we need? Our sine and cosine cofunctions? Co yes, they are. <laughs> it's getting a little late. <laughs> All right. So, yes, they're going to be the same. Okay. The cosine of pi over 2 minus theta is also equal to 5 twelfths. And you can do that for, for all similar examples. And, and you could also see this by drawing a little triangle. Let's say theta is right here. I don't know what theta is, but I know that sine of theta is 5 twelfths. So this is one such triangle. Or maybe it's a bigger triangle. 10 and 24. Who knows how big the triangle is, but the ratio is the same. So if we look at the complementary angle, the cosine of the complementary angle, we can call it gamma. Cosine is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, also 5 twelfths. All right. The triangles are great visualization tools, and you can use them here. Last example of this video. If cosecant of pi over 6 equals 2, find the secant of 5 pi over 6. Well, just look at the angles. This is 30 degrees. This is not the problem I wanted to write down for you. 
<laughs> this is Kosekin. <laughs> Those weren't complimentary. Those were supplementary, I think. Um, fine. Secant. F pi over three. So again, cosecant and secant are co-functions. It's the same word, just with a co. It's 30 degrees, 60 degrees, they add up to 90 degrees. So it's also going to equal to two. All right. And that's all there is to it. And we need to end this video before I make any more bad jokes. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions.